Property and Home Inspection Form, Sewer Line Inspection for Subject Property 6020 Varna Avenue, Van Nuys, California, 91401. The property is built in 1953. Square footage is 1931. Three bedroom, two bath. I'm going through a clean out located on the west side, actually, I'm sorry, east side of the property. The property faces west. Um, so this is clean out, unfortunately, I'm sorry, looking on the north side, north side of the property. So the main water supply line comes in uh, from the north side of the property. So usually the sewer line follows that same direction. So I'm going through a two and a half inch cast iron clean out located next to the rear property. Uh, so when the pipe's this small, sometimes it's hard to push this manual sewer line, sewer camera. So I'm going to see how far I can get. And then later on, I'll turn on the water because that will help me push this camera. So I'm seeing age-related normal rust from this cast iron. That's the bathroom right there. I'm sorry, the kitchen, the kitchen line. So I ha have the kitchen sink turned on. That's just going to help me push. So I see normal age-related wear. See that? And that's typical because this is the the uh, kitchen sink area. So it'll it'll have this. this uh, grease buildup or rust buildup because of that. So yeah, it's a little warm there, see that? So uh, at this point, it is sort of recommended a little hydrate bed because I'm having a tough time pushing this, this camera snake. See that? It's, it's actually blocking me up. So what's, what's happening is that all that grimace, I'm actually pushing it with my camera and it's getting to a point where I can't push anymore because it's uh, blocking it up. Let me see, hold on. I might have to go on the roof on a vent because this, I turn off the water, see if we could see what's causing the backup here or the making it harder to push. Go slow here. See at that section there. At the with all that. Let's see if it's settled, see what we can see what it is. Yeah, it's just grimace grease or whatever. Yeah, I can't push anymore. I might have to go to a vent on the roof. Let me back this out. Yeah, so I do recommend, see that blockage there? Way in the yonder there. So, yeah, like I said, I think I was pushing in that grimace, all that rust and the grease, and it just uh, created a little backup right there. So I do recommend having this area hydro jetted. Uh, approximate hydro jet is uh, about a thousand dollars, eight to a thousand dollars. I might be able to work out a deal because it's such a small section. So here, let me back this out. So now I'm going to go on the roof to see if I could get a better video of your main sewer line here. All right, so I'm going through a clean out, vent clean out on the roof because that other one, I guess, was clogged up a little bit, or we'll see. We'll see what we could, uh, what we could do here. See how far I could take this. Make the turn. So I have the uh, the 
the uh, bathroom tub turned on. So we'll see when we see that water. 20 feet out. I was, there's, there's that bathtub. And that helps me push. So you have cast iron here. I went in through a three inch transite pipe. Uh, and so that's converted, it transferred, I mean it transitions to cast iron. On the way back, I will shut the water off and I get a better picture. Just because uh, this water helps me push this camera. So I'm gonna try to get as far out as I can. And I'll shut the water off and I can see the camera coming back. It's a little bit better there. And like I said earlier on the video, this is a manual pushing camera. So then here at, uh, at approximately 51 feet, it transitions to clay. So we'll see how far I can take this. And I can see some tree roots right there. See that? So that's located probably at the front of the house. Um, it's not a big issue here. It's not occluding. You know, the pipe at 100%, you're about like 4%, 5%, 3% of, of tree roots. So see how far I can take this. Sometimes it gets harder to push. So here's a, a joint offset. Uh, but you, I can almost make out the rubber around that clay. See that? So it's telling me that it's connected, it's joint. Um, you have an offset. But the good thing, the offset is on the opposite side. So it basically goes off, the water goes off a cliff. Sometimes I see these offsets and they're on the opposite side where it's a dam. And that's not good. So this is where it transitions to ABS. So, or was it? I'm sorry, ABS? No, that's still clay. See, now that's the offset I was talking about. See how it's on the opposite side? These prevent me from pushing my camera. I'm going to try to push. Let's see how if I can do it. Yes, I was able to push. All right, so this is a little bit more tree roots. So these have, this is how these tree roots start. They start off as little hairs. See that? And uh, then they start getting bigger and bigger. So you do have some tree root intrusion. Nothing to write home about. It's not a lot. There's a little bit more. See, what happens is these joints are clay, uh, concrete based. These clay joints are concrete based. And so the clay pipes last longer than the clay joints. The joints are concrete based. And with water uh, just being in the soil, they deteriorate. And tree roots are looking for water so they invade the pipe because of the damaged joints so there's there's a couple more so now you know you're seeing more and more I don't know if they hydrogetted this line in the past there's no clean out in the front so it is recommended to get a clean out installed uh, that's approximately thirty five hundred dollars thirty five to four thousand dollars to install a clean out and that will help you with in case you do have an occlusion you'll be able to um, uh, clear out the line all right so this is here is the city connection I believe let me see yeah this is the city saddle right here so I made it all the way to the city saddle 83 feet I'm gonna shut the water off and then flush the toilet just so I could uh, see that there's a city saddle right there um, so I'll shut the water off give it a second I'll be right back okay so I was able to get all the way to the city connection, which is good. And I just had Irina flush the toilet, and we're going to see a gush of water here in a, in a few seconds. My lovely assistant, Irina, I just met her today. Thank you for the referral. And let's see if we see some, some water here in a second. The water has to travel 80, 81 feet. There it is. So, yeah, that's the main sewer line. And... Uh, that's the city connection. Let the water die down a little, a little bit.
Yeah, I wouldn't. I wasn't gonna be. I was gonna try to get into that city, but I, I couldn't get it. Yeah. So that's it. The city saddle there it looks okay. Um, I don't see any other issues with this line, but you do have a little bit of tree roots. Let me go see where that's at. All right, so that is not the city connection. Fortunately, that's as far as I can take it just because this turn is going to be hard to navigate and then you have that offset. But let me see. Let me give it a go. Turn it. We go turn on the water. So I'm going to turn on the water. I was able to turn. I was able to navigate that turn. Uh, we'll see if the water can help me push this. I have my trusty assistant turn on the water. It's the water is going to be coming in a second. I'm 90 feet out. I'm at the sidewalk now. anytime soon. There it is. Yeah, that's going to help me. Oh, I feel better now. See that? Yeah. 97. So now I'm getting close to the street. Love it. 100 feet out. might be a little boring for you sorry but I'm getting a good picture here and this clay pipe looks good just a couple of sections in your front lawn that have the tree roots let's see how far I can go come on baby Five here. Oh geez. So you have some tree roots at down by the by the city connection. Yeah, there's some tree roots there, the city. Good thing I was able to go all the way. Okay, um, so you have a big tree root ball, I would say uh, with 30% occlusion at the bottom. So that would be have to be a spot repair. Uh, I'm looking at like $4,000, $35 to $4,000 spot repair. And that's located on the north side of the property. Um, it's a strange location, so I'm gonna note that. So at this point, I'm not gonna push any further because uh, I don't want to get my camera stuck with that tree root ball. So at the very least, 
You need a hydro jetty for your main uh, kitchen line because that has a lot of grimace, buildup, rust. So that approximately is a thousand dollars. And then you have tree roots at your front lawn, and uh, maybe uh, since they're compromised, you have to line your pipe. Because doing spot repairs, three spot repairs doesn't make sense. So you would line the pipe there, and then go out here to this distal end at 130 feet and fix that at a spot repair, five feet deep. So now you're looking at, uh, for the liner, you know, you're looking at 45 to $5,000 plus the hydrogen six, and then an additional four for this, for that spot repair here at this distal tip, 100 feet out, 130 feet out. So uh, I'm gonna note that, recommend a licensed plumber to come further review and give you an accurate price code. This is just like an estimate. I talked to a licensed plumber and he gives me these prices. So um, at this point, it's highly recommended, like I said, to get that licensed plumber to come out for the review and then uh, give you a, a price quote. Yeah, so you're looking at like 14, see those two roots, see that? But they're not big, but they're, it's an issue because they're not going to get smaller. They're just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger because the pipe is compromised. Backing out, reversing what I just saw. Forty feet out. I mean, we went up to 130 feet out, so that was a good sewer inspection, as good as they get. You know, uh, it made me work for it. I got on the, the roof. Track them back. I'm gonna get vertical here. Pull out my camera in a second. Good thing it's about 90 degree out on the roof. 95. Huh? All right, I'm all done. This is the the roof vent that I got to. This is the roof, new door, and I'm all done.